Before the year 2000, the globalization of businesses has been a challenge and opportunity to a lot of businesses. To be more competitive in the market, companies need to be more agile, they need to be more efficient and customer-centric organization. We came up with this, what we call a uh, social enterprise concept under a cooperative concept. Under this setup, workers themselves are part owners of the business. They are not simply employees, but they are what we call member owners of the enterprise. We have grown our business partners by introducing new opportunities, streamlining processes, and fostering collaboration. Our partnerships have resulted in increased success for everyone involved. ANR Unlimited as a functional outsourced service provider started from 37 workers, where this has rapidly grown to more than 11,000 workers. The cooperative has expanded from its first modest building to six strategically placed locations across the country. that stands out mostly about ANR is the culture. It allows its members freedom of creativity. It creates an environment that fosters growth and development and has remained intact to date. Adopting the seven universal standard principles for cooperatives, ANR Unlimited came up with corporate social responsibility CSR programs such as livelihood program, tree planting education, training and information, feeding program and bloodletting among others. The cooperated been hard at work these past two decades to create solutions that meet the ever-changing needs of our customers, especially in this pandemic. On the service crew side, practically all restaurants closed at the time. You know? So given that we have a huge number of this uh, engagement, so we were hit. But I guess because of the fundamentals that we have set, for ANR, we were able to survive. Okay. Here up, challenges, a lot of uh, strategic management, you know. We were able to last for the last, what, just about three years of the pandemic. Now, uh, I think we're back in business. This challenge once more tested the cooperative, but this was taken as an opportunity to enhance and develop its members to be more agile and competent. Various training sessions were conducted, from the usual face-to-face -to, -face to webinars, 
from safety, competency, and behavioral-based training which led to the developmental program amongst its members. Cooperated explored more on technology and provided access for the members to be more exposed with a recent technological advancement. My word right now in the industry is that uh, the progress of the economy of the country is also basically hinged on the infrastructure. A lot of infrastructures are uh, being done and that is where we will probably be right. I'm not sure if you can look at our, uh, this is basically what we call the construction industry war room because in here you will notice uh, we are engaged in, one, in, in construction with one of the biggest conglomerate in the country. Our successes are evidence of the effort, devotion, and creativity we put into all that we do. continuously provide assistance and opportunities for members to pursue their career in their fields of interest as being part of the ENR family. We want to be an ESG compliant. We want to elevate our cooperative to be uh, in, in, in making doing our business to be environmentally and socially uh, relevant, as well as we comply with the uh, globally accepted governance concepts. We're going global. My message to the members of the cooperative is that. Uh, we can still be partners, we can still have that same rela relationship which we have over the past years for the next 20 years uh, moving forward. For our members, uh, we will uh, continue to, to work as a uh, team. Our members are basically the most important uh, stakeholders of, the org of our organization. Without them, 
there is no ANR. It is basically our member workers that have uh, inspired us to um, establish our ANR cooperative.